nation, nation, nation. I've talked about this topic again, but I already, I mean, I really have to talk about it one more time. You can consider this a reviewing tip, you can consider this a life tip. I would consider it more of a life tip because this is ridiculous. We're here today, we're talking about trolls. We're talking about a specific troll. I'm not going to get into names, I'm not going to get into doing all of those different things. We're just going to call it the trolls that take things too far. Now we all know about trolls, I mean we're in this internet community where we're talking about music, we're posting videos that have our faces, that have our backgrounds, where people can make snide little comments about, oh you just live in your mom's basement, Cover Killer Nation, or your face looks like you haven't entered puberty yet, Cover Killer Nation, or what is that, your nose, or did a rhinoceros take a shit on your face, Cover Killer Nation? And those trolls, we know them well. They're just looking to rabble-rouse a little bit. They look to critique things that perhaps they lack themselves, whatever it may be. We're here to talk, however, about those trolls that take things just a little too far. And these are the ones that take an opinion that perhaps you stated, or maybe you didn't even put it in your video. It was just something that you stated on somebody else's video in the comments, or maybe you made a video response, or maybe you didn't do anything video related at all. Perhaps this was just based around something that you had stated on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Somebody that takes that idea and goes way too far with the fact that they disagree with you. Now, is this necessarily just bond all out of the blue? You know, not always. Sometimes, you know, there is a little bit of back and forth exchange that really causes this level of, I guess, hatred, if you want to call it, to occur. But sometimes it does happen just out of the blue. Sometimes an opinion of yours may be taken so poorly by somebody else. It may be received so poorly uh, by an individual that it just becomes a, an obsession to them. Now, these are the people that are going to start your Facebook pages that are against your cause, perhaps. These are the people that are going to try to go so far as to challenge you to fight, threaten to kill you, your family, your dog, your, you know, your little subscriber base, uh, your nice toadstool farm that you have in your closet, expose you, you know, claim that you do nothing but snort crack cocaine and, you know, like to watch My Little Pony and shit like that. And these are the people that are going to post your personal information. Uh, these are the people that are going to go out of their way, uh, obsessively, seemingly, to really see your dream and your cause die. And that's the one thing that, as a reviewer, that consistently encourages you guys to do exactly what I do. Basically encouraging competition, if you want to look at it from a business aspect, I have no respect for this. I have zero respect for it. Now, this is something that's happened to a couple of the members of the community more than it's happened to perhaps someone like myself or, you know, Anthony the Needle Drop or any of the people that have come before me. Uh, this is something that's obviously happened to other members of other communities on YouTube or across the Internet universe. Uh, so this is not new. I mean, this is something that happens uh, with the popular artists that sometimes we praise or we talk ill of. It's just that, you know, whereas we're making videos about it, other people are going out and making just terrible, terrible pages where they are basically calling for their deaths or this or that. Real extremism, you know what I mean? You know, an opinion is kind of like an asshole, as they always say. Everybody has one, and some of them just happen to be larger than others. Uh, the ones that are the largest happen to be those that go out of their way to these extreme levels to really try to rabble-rouse, that really try to disrupt everything, that really try to take your eye off of what you are doing. And this is all I'm going to say about that. If your sole intention, if your sole idea of being you know, a part of this community is to do that. If your sole intention is to try to do that for attention or to try to do that because you genuinely dislike somebody and what they claim to stand for, then why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting your time? I'm sure that there are many other things that you could do. You could take 15 more photos with your shirt off. You know, you could take 17 photos of wildlife. Maybe you could read a book and become educated. Maybe you could listen to other music and expand your horizons. Perhaps you could find a new television show. Take up a hobby such as pottery or knitting or, you know, go into the kitchen and make yourself a goddamn sandwich. Whatever it may be, it's certainly better than encouraging reckless and stupid negativity that is not really what your cause is about anyway. 
you think that it's all about what your particular subgenre of metal or of music is really calling for you to do. And you're really wrong. This is just like the idea of white power, where people think that they're right because they feel that they're the superior race. But in reality, there is a certain level of equality that should exist in this world, whether it be white, black, whether it be man or woman, whether it be Ethiopian, Scandinavian, Japanese, Russian, you know, English, French, American, Canadian, doesn't really matter. There is a certain level of equality that will never be established. World peace is just a pipe dream. I understand all of that. But if your sole intention is to go after one reviewer, if your sole intent and your purpose is to go after one reviewer and do everything in your power in order to try to terrorize them, I really think that you need to reevaluate your life a little bit, reevaluate where you are, and reevaluate your goals and your accomplishments because... Basically, once this is done, what do you have? And I think that the real answer to that question is just about nothing. You have just about the same amount going on in your life than somebody who is about to take an AK-47 and shoot themselves right in the head. And now, am I encouraging suicide? Am I encouraging homicide? Absolutely not. It's merely a metaphor. It's merely a comparison. The point is, is that you need something else to do with your time. Obviously, you've spent too much time in front of your computer trying to find ways to piss this gentleman off. Way too much time maybe sitting in front of a computer jacking it instead of going out and, you know, building a relationship or building a life. These are the types of people, Nation, that just you don't want any part of. You don't want to have any sort of allegiance with people like that, mainly because their ideals, their their ways in which they go about things are just fueled by something irking them the wrong way. Now I understand that a lot of things irk me the wrong way. A lot of musical things irk me the wrong way. I sit out here and I talk about how Taylor Swift needs to just be loved. And you know what? Even though I did it in such an outwardly negative way, it is kind of my way of being positive and saying, someone please just love this girl. She's clearly crying out for attention. So someone please love these trolls. As, as, as obnoxious as they may be, as much as they may piss you off, someone please just love them. Give them a hug. Because obviously they need that because all they seem to have to do with their online time is just wank off about how much they hate somebody and try their damnedest in order to spread a message of utter destruction, which is just ridiculous. So for those of you who have encountered trolls, I understand your pain. For those of you who have encountered trolls of this level, I am certainly one that's going to say that I stand by you and not them. Mainly because their idea is very, very narrow-minded, very simple-minded, and in short, extremely stupid. And not at all what this community is all about.